In a world increasingly dependent on industrialized agriculture, have you ever wondered? How do American farmers manage to harvest a staggering 386 million tons of sweet corn annually, a figure that seems almost impossible? What has transformed vast, endless cornfields into a colossal production engine, surpassing all expectations and setting a new benchmark for global agriculture? Imagine an early morning, mist still clinging to the immense cornfields of Iowa, Illinois, or Nebraska. Not the sound of birds, but the roar of massive machinery preparing for a day of relentless work. Here, the vast expanse seems to swallow everything, and every decision made by a farmer is a matter of survival. A minor error in soil preparation, seed selection, or irrigation system adjustment could lead to catastrophic failure. There have been seasons when natural disasters struck unexpectedly, prolonged droughts left the soil parched and cracked, or pest outbreaks threatened to consume an entire year's labor. The underlying tension is palpable, not just on the weathered faces of the farmers, but also permeating the fields themselves, where each cornstalk represents a gamble with fate. In this context, technology is not merely a tool, it is a lifeline, a promise of control and predictability in an ever-volatile environment. The journey of every colossal corn harvest begins at a single point, the seed. This isn't just about picking any random seed, it's a strategic decision, meticulously researched to ensure maximum yield. American farmers dedicate significant time to selecting sweet corn varieties based on criteria such as sweetness, ear size, kernel color, and most importantly, their ability to adapt to local climate and soil conditions. An ideal corn variety must possess good disease resistance, meet market demands, and have a growth cycle that aligns with the growing season. After seed selection, a crucial preparatory step is seed treatment. Some seeds are coated with a protective layer of chemicals, such as fungicides or biological pesticides, which help them resist diseases and insect pests during the early stages of development. This process, though seemingly minor, plays a pivotal role, safeguarding the potential of an entire harvest from insidious threats beneath the soil. The soil, the fundamental element of every crop, requires thorough preparation after each harvest. Soil can become compacted, depleted, and overrun with weeds. To remedy this, farmers use large tractors equipped with plows to till the soil, making it looser and more aerated. This plowing process typically reaches a depth of 20 to 30 centimeters, creating ideal conditions for corn roots to penetrate deeply, thereby improving the plant's ability to absorb water and nutrients more effectively. Once the soil has been tilled and rows have been formed, the next step is to smooth and shape the rows, ensuring the soil is loose enough for easy seed planting. Before or during the planting process, a base layer of fertilizer is applied to provide essential nutrients for seed germination and growth. This is a highly precise process, as inappropriate amounts of fertilizer can harm the soil and crops.
With modern technology, seed planting has become an astonishingly automated process. Farmers load seeds into high-tech seed planters, ensuring precise planting density. The machine automatically deposits seeds into pre-formed rows at optimal spacing and depth. Corn seeds are typically planted about 5 to 6 centimeters deep, with a spacing of 15 to 20 centimeters between seeds and about 75 centimeters between rows. This precision allows each corn plant sufficient space to grow, optimizing its reception of sunlight, air, and nutrients, while also facilitating future care. Once the seeds are nestled in the ground, corn requires meticulous attention, including proper watering and fertilization. To optimize water usage across vast fields, farmers install automated irrigation systems. The most common system used is sprinkler irrigation, where sprinklers mounted on a network of pipes spray water in streams or fine mists, simulating natural rainfall. These systems are massive in scale, requiring high installation and operating costs, but deliver superior efficiency. Another widely used irrigation system is the pivot irrigation system. This system utilizes a central pivot with long arms equipped with sprinklers that rotate around the pivot point, watering a large circular area. It is a spectacular sight from above, demonstrating the perfect blend of engineering and agriculture. Did you know that precisely determining the exact amount of water needed for each growth stage of corn not only conserves resources, but can also increase yields by 15 to 20 percent compared to traditional irrigation methods? This is a shocking truth about the efficiency of technology in modern agriculture. Besides water, fertilizer is a crucial component for providing nutrients to corn plants. Selecting the right fertilizer and applying modern fertilization methods are key factors in optimizing corn growth and yield. Fertilizer spreaders are used to evenly distribute fertilizer across the field, significantly reducing the time and effort required from farmers. Liquid fertilizers are often preferred to improve the absorption efficiency of corn. After approximately two months, the pollination process of the corn plant begins. The corn plant produces male flowers at the top and female flowers in the leaf axils. Pollen from the male flowers easily falls onto the corn silks. Pollination is primarily driven by wind or insects. Occasionally, human intervention may also be employed to ensure this process occurs as effectively as possible. Corn is typically harvested between 100 and 120 days after planting, depending on the variety and weather conditions. As the corn ears mature, the corn silk changes from green or yellow to a dark brown and dries out. This is one of the easiest signs to observe. When fully matured, the corn ears will feel firm and well-developed. A simple test to check ripeness is to gently press a fingernail into one of the kernels. If a clear, slightly thick liquid comes out, it means the corn is ripe and ready for harvest. Corn harvesting is a highly automated process, which increases efficiency and reduces labor in corn farming. There are two main types of harvesting, one for harvesting corn ears for consumption or processing, and the other for harvesting the entire corn plant for silage to feed livestock. First, Let's explore the process of harvesting corn ears. Farmers use a specialized combine harvester. This colossal machine cuts the corn stalks and separates the ears from them. As the machine moves through the rows, a system of toothed rollers cuts the stalks and guides the ears into the machine. The corn ears are then separated from the husks and silks through an internal filtering system. The combine harvester ensures that corn ears are harvested efficiently with minimal damage, 
keeping the ears clean and intact. The harvested corn is then loaded directly into trucks, continuously moving into the truck as the machine works, and transported to storage facilities before being sent to processing plants. In addition to harvesting ears, American farmers also harvest the entire corn plant for silage. Whole corn plants need to be harvested and chopped while fresh, ensuring a moisture content of around 65 to 70 percent for effective silage fermentation. The machinery used for this purpose is designed to harvest the entire plant above ground, including the stalks, leaves, and ears. As the machine moves through the rows, it cuts and chops the entire corn plant into small pieces, typically one to two centimeters in size, to optimize the ensiling process. The chopped corn is blown directly into trucks, and the machine can adjust the size of the chopped material to meet the specific requirements for silage. After harvesting, the chopped corn is transported to the silage area. There, specialized plastic covers are used to seal the surface, maintaining an airtight environment and preventing air from entering. Corn silage takes about four to six weeks to fully ferment. Once the process is complete, the silage forms large, compact blocks, which farmers must break down using machines when needed. After harvesting, corn can be sent to various factories for diverse purposes. Let's explore three types of factories, a corn kernel, processing plant, a popcorn factory, and a canned corn factory. First is the corn kernel processing plant. The corn is placed on a conveyor belt and moves into the factory. Machines will cut the corn into round pieces, remove the corn husk, which is then transported for other purposes such as organic fertilizer or animal feed. Subsequently, workers will directly place the corn into bins, ready to be packaged and sent to supermarkets. Next is the canned corn factory. The corn is also transported and placed on a conveyor belt. Workers stand to sort out any substandard corn. Then, the corn is brought to the kernel separator, where kernels and cobs are clearly separated the corn cobs will be discarded. The corn continues to be conveyed to a direct water washing system to ensure it is free of dirt. Then, a screening machine filters out small corn kernels. A direct heat drying system helps to cook the corn kernels without fire. Finally, the corn is brought directly to the automated canning line, carefully packaged and exported to the market. Lastly, we will visit the popcorn factory the corn is placed into the roaster. In the machine, butter will be added, and the corn is stirred evenly for about five minutes. After that, the corn will expand into large, round popcorn, looking incredibly appealing and delicious. Finally, the packaging machine will automatically divide it into equal parts to pack into the final product. Can you believe that a small amount of catalyst, or even a slight change in air humidity at the factory, can reduce the popping efficiency of corn by up to 30 percent. This is a little-known operational secret, requiring extremely precise environmental control to ensure perfect popcorn quality. Through this journey, we've gained an overview of how American farmers harvest millions of tons of corn each year. From soil preparation and crop care, to using modern machinery for harvesting and transporting corn to processing plants, it's a long process filled with dedication, precision, and a lot of hard work. So next time you enjoy a delicious roasted corn on the cob or a crunchy piece of popcorn, remember all the effort that went into bringing those kernels to you. Would you like to discover more secrets behind modern agriculture? Leave a comment below about what you'd like us to dissect next. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth analyses of this fascinating world of agriculture.